to say it. I mean, I don't know if you wanted to rant more. I, I do. Okay. About one more thing, and then you can talk about okay. the end. So, again, this just has to do with the bad fucking art and the terrible, terrible decisions that Tony Daniels make. So, Nightwing is fighting Tim Drake in the Batman cowl. Tim Drake, or Tim Drake, I'm sorry, Jason Todd is wearing the Batman cowl. Yeah, or like okay? some devil type cowl because it looks right. like horns. Yeah. So, the cowl gets. Uh, gets ripped off of him, off of of. I know where you're going with yeah. this. And he has a, his domino mask. <laughs> Jason Todd has his domino mask underneath the cowl, so he's wearing two masks. Why? <laughs> what? What is the explanation I behind know. that? That is so <laughs> fucking stupid. I remember reading that, going, "What the? Wait a minute! Are they both wearing masks?" Because because we, we wouldn't have been able to tell that this was Jason Todd without the Batman call unless he had the Jason Todd domino mask. So fucking stupid. That is so fucking stupid. It's true. I remember seeing that and going, I did a double take. I went, what? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm beginning to wonder if that was a case of Tony Daniel just didn't want to draw, draw, draw regular eyes. And you then know, it's easier to draw, you know, oh, eyes with no pupils, right? If you that's, if you can draw to begin with, but he fucking can't, so it shouldn't matter. Ah, so, uh, yes, here we go. No, you can talk about this because I yeah. hope you're going to say the exact same thing that I'm going to say. But no, no, go on ahead. You're no, in a roll. No. All right, so it comes down to them on a bridge, Jason Todd and and Dick Grayson, and. Um, Jason Todd has fallen off the bridge and, is, and Nightwing catches him. And it's the whole, like, I can save you. Just pull yourself up, you know, we get you help. Mm-hmm. And then Jason Todd would much rather be like, fuck you, let's go. And he falls into Gotham oh. Harbor, just like Batman did in Batman Rest in Peace. No body, no nothing. Such a cl- cliched fucking thing. Again, this is how this book ends, with a big piece of shit cliché. It was, yeah. No, it was very cliched. It's the old... And, of course, he goes... Jason says, I'll be seeing you sooner than you think. Meaning, we know that he's not going to die. We know that Jason Todd's not dead. So, This is what bother? happened with Batman and Rest in Peace. <laughs> right. Like, four months ago. Right. It, 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 Come yeah. up with some fucking original. Seriously. Is it that fucking hard? <sighs> yeah. Um, to me, and this was the, the killer for me, too... Um, at the very end, um, even past that, where you see the, the the sequence where Dick Grayson, and we assume it's Dick Grayson, um, shows up walking down the Batcave, is told by his point of view, and you see um, just the back of his head. The back of his head without the Batman cowl, and then the very last page, he is wearing the cowl, and... Big splash page. It's all fucking shadow. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, you know... To me, you didn't need this book to tell me that... You need all three issues yeah, to tell you. You didn't need all three issues to give me this story. And on top of that, uh, for a three-issue miniseries, it didn't tell a complete story outside of saying who was going to become Batman, who we knew from the very beginning was going to become the Batman. It, this really was no surprise. There was no surprise to it, and of course, there was no resolution at the end of this. There was no point in doing this as its own miniseries. You could have easily folded that into one of the Batman books and gone from there. Nothing gets resolved in this fucking miniseries. And then, of course, the biggest, to me, I'm sorry, the biggest insult out of the whole thing is that it was a three ninety nine book. Yeah, so you paid $12 for this horse shit of a story. $12 for three issues... So nothing gets resolved. The whole yeah. Two-Faced, Penguin, Black Mask thing doesn't get resolved in here. Obviously, when they're writing it in a miniseries, I'm thinking by the end of the mis- miniseries, there has to be some kind of resolution to all this stuff that they're bringing up. Nothing gets resolved. Right. I don't understand why it took Jason Todd flipping out to get Dick Grayson to say, okay, I'll be Batman. Uh, because Bruce Wayne told him uh, not to be Batman. Because I, Gotham City doesn't need a Batman. Yeah, but I mean, you found that out. The beginning of issue one, you knew that you needed Batman. The whole city's gone to, to shit because there, because somehow it also gets out that there is no Batman. Oh, and also, you know, so. um, the, the other thing that I really liked was that half of Gotham City gets blown up. Only 33 casualties. 
<laughs> yeah, because um, only government buildings were blown up at night. Yeah, the death toll sat at 33. And but it's climbing. Yeah, and 33 climbing. people really. That's uh, this. The black mask was sitting up on a on a on a on a building doing the Phantom of the Opera bit, and there were all these buildings on fire behind him. Only and, 33 and, people and, died. And Gordon is having this conversation. And he they were talking about how half of Gotham is demolished. Mm -hmm. 33 people died. Really? I mean, you get more people killed in a in a flood. Like when, you know, more people died in, in, die in hurricanes But they do say innocence, though. But uh, all the gangsters that died, like, in the first issue, stuff like that, I mean, I guess they're not innocents. <laughs> but, uh, all right, we're done. We're done. I'm, I'm so fucking glad I never have to talk about this fucking piece of shit ever, 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 ever again. Um, Worst comic book of the year so far. Congratulations, Tony Daniel. Yeah, but it was a top-selling book because part one sold was the only... Top ten book DC had, right? So, oh, I'm it sorry. Then that means five. That's, it was in top three. Top that three. That means that it's good. I'm what about sorry, issue everybody. number two? Okay, okay. Issue, didn't issue so number, number two was the one that was in. Uh, I actually, I don't know what, what number. I don't know. Well, it was a top selling book. So that that by by the it was a top selling DC book. Top so DC's best selling book. So yeah. you can't really say anything because it, I take everything it's back out of all three yeah. reviews that I've done. I take everything back because obviously it's good. So. Guys. Just like the comic, my review was worthless. <laughs> and I'm sorry, guys. For those of you, with all due respect, for those of you who said you bought the book because you wanted to hear us rip it later, see, when you that's buy... That's commitment to this fucking show. No, yeah. that's commitment to this fucking show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Really, uh, do, do, how about this? Read it at your shop or borrow it from somebody. Send us the three ninety nine. <laughs> because to me... When you support this, if you really don't like it, when you support it, you're, you're, you're talking with your money. Because the book sells so well, you can't go to Dan DiDio and tell him the book was a piece of shit. Okay? Because, well, one, it is a matter of opinion. But two, he'll just turn around and say it was our top, it was DC's top selling book. So how could it have been so bad? Well, New Avengers is Marvel's top selling book. but And then Joker Satter will say it's our top selling book. How can you say it's so bad? Again, the market speaks. We even have commenters who would say that. Yeah. So, you know, and I know a lot of folks want to, want to like this book. They've been saying, you really want to like this book? If you do. I would really like to like a Wait, Batman I want to like it, book. I want to like, it, like it, but I can't. So, it's not that we, we go in hate, wanting to hate the book. Just, you know, for three ninety nine, that better be a rocking book is what I'm saying. So, okay. We're going to end this rant there. I hope it was what you had hoped for. And uh, when we come back, we actually have some good books that we enjoyed that we want to uh, turn you guys on to. So we hope we see you then.